Our next honoree is a young woman whose passion for volunteerism and philanthropy is transforming her community. Shrusti Amula was just 13 years old when she learned that food waste contributes to the effects of climate change, leading her to found the Rise and Shine Foundation. With food waste collection programs in 12 public schools in her county, Rise and Shine Foundation serves as a model for how youth can lead significant change in their communities. Now she's a freshman at Georgetown University, and Shusti has dedicated herself to mobilizing youth voices to address the impact of food waste on our environment and campaigns that promote social justice, combat hunger, and support education. Shrusti Amula. Please welcome to the stage 2024 George H.W. Bush Points of Light honoree, Shrusti Amula. Thank you, Points of Light, for this tremendous honor. I'm deeply humbled and grateful to receive this recognition. When I founded Rise and Shine Foundation in 2019, I had a simple vision, to create positive change in my community by reducing food waste and empowering young individuals to take action. Over the past six years, Rise and Shine has provided over 350,000 meals, diverted over... <laughs> diverted over 200,000 pounds of food waste from landfills and have mobilized over 5,000 volunteers. <laughs> but this award isn't just a recognition of my own work. It's a celebration of every single volunteer, supporter, and community member who has been a part of our journey. I've overcame a lot of age-related skepticism to achieve these goals. I had to reach out to dozens of schools and set up multiple meetings with each of these schools. And after heavy persuasion, I was only then able to start my first compost program. And even then, after that program received outstanding results and proved the significant benefits of opening this program in schools, still then, many others were hesitant to say yes because of my age. And Fortunately, our first compost program caught the attention of a local politician who became an advocate for us. So my main point is this, young people are the leaders of change. <laughs> to other aspiring young leaders, my message to you is this, to persist. You will eventually find an advocate who will fully believe in you and help you take your aspirations to the next levels. And to the adults, I invite you to become the advocates for us. So as we accept this award, we also accept the responsibility of continuing our work with a renewed vigor. We commit to inspiring more people to volunteer, to creating more opportunities for meaningful change, and to fighting climate change and food insecurity on a larger level. Thank you so much. Yeah. 